mga pajaffers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Ngayon po sabay tayo manonood ng isang video clip mula sa movie na Sherlock Holmes Game of Shadows. So dito po isa ito sa aking favorite movie kasi sobrang angas talaga nitong movie na ito. Tapos may bonus pang chess scene. So dito naglalaban yung bida at yung kontrabida si Sherlock Holmes at uh, yung kalaban niya yung kontrabida na si Professor Moriarty, nag-chess-chess sila at sobrang angas po nitong scene na ito. Uh, nag-chess-chess sila parang blindfold. Uh, sinasabi na lang nila yung tira hindi na ho sila tumitira sa chessboard. So ito po, papanoorin natin at uh, pangatas natin panoorin, ia-analyze po natin yung game. So hopefully ma-enjoy nyo po itong video na ito at uh, ngayon po uh, punta tayo sa video clip. About that fortune of yours, I believe it's just been substantially reduced. King de Rook II, I attended several of your lectures. The equations of motion, which you will find in my book, the energy that is required to release this explosion is... It was in actually... Oslo when I first caught a glimpse of your little notebook, red leather bound from Smythes in Bond Street. Rook to King's Rook Three. Check. Bishop to Rook Three. Its importance was not fully apparent to me until I observed your penchant for feeding pigeons. Then it occurred. That with an empire so enormous, even you must keep a record of it somewhere. Bishop takes Bishop. Rook to Bishop Four. I then only required the notebook itself. You didn't make it easy. What more? Go, Monsieur. Just the bags. I would need to endure a considerable amount of pain. Uh, my God, <laughs> Kira, Her Majesty's Secret Service. But the notebook would undoubtedly be encoded, so how then to break the code? Rook takes Rook. Pawn takes Rook. Bishop to Bishop Seven. Queen takes Knight Pawn. Does the art of domestic horticulture mean anything to you? How could a man as meticulous as you own such a book and you completely neglect the flowers in his own window box? Irony abounds. Never mind, it's safe. In London. Where my colleagues are making good use of it. The most formidable criminal mind in Europe has just had all his money stolen by perhaps the most inept inspector in the history of Scotland Yard. Any chance of cup of tea? Box 0403. Tick. Box 0801. How much more is there? That's the end of page two. Page three. He'll be making an anonymous donation to the Widows and Orphans of War Fund. Bishop to Bishop Eight. Discover Jack. And incidentally, mate. Ayan po yung video clip natin. So, sobrang angas, di ba? Pagkatapos niyan, sa sobrang galit ni Moriarty, nagsuntukan na ho sila dyan. Pero, iba na ho yan. So, ngayon, pupunta tayo dun sa laro at uh, i-analyze natin kung ano yung uh, nangyari dun sa game nila. Kung ano ba yung mga pinagsasabi nilang doon. So, ito na po yung position ng game nila kung saan na uh, nag-blah blindfold na po sila at ito talaga matagal ko nang sinusubaybayan tong uh, game na ito kasi uh, sinusubukan kong sundan yung mga chess moves hindi ko magawa kasi malayo ho sa screen yung uh, chessboard hindi ko makita yung pyesa pero syempre ang ginawa ko ginugil ko at ngayon po nahanap ko na yung game sa so, ito Professor Moriarty yung white black po si Sherlock Holmes at uh, tingnan natin kung ano nangyari sa so dito, atakado po yung queen. At ang ginawa ni Sherlock Holmes, sinacrifice niya yung queen. Ayan, sabi niya pa, minsan talaga kailangan i-sacrifice yung uh, strongest piece para maka-atake. No? Mga ganung uh, linyahan. So, pag uh, napanood niyo po yung movie, talaga napaganda. So, syempre, uh, persado ang kainin. Pag hindi mo kinain yan, eh, tatagos na po yung atake na open na yung mga file. So, F takes G3. And then, Bishop takes E3 check. Ayan. So, itong atake na to, napakalakas kasi napapalibutan na ho yung king. So, halimbawa dito, mag-rook F2 ka. Uh, kakainin lang yung F2. Check. 
king f1 and then check ulit para bishop f3 ito yung papatay yung rook h4 ayan so it, hindi na huyan yung nangyari sa laro pero talagang uh, pag inanalyze yung game uh, tamang tama pa rin according to the engine yung mga nangyari so pagka nagka queens hito dyan tatamaan ng rook g6 tapos may bishop h3 uh, napapalibutan na yung king ng mga pyesa hindi na ho magsusurvive so persado ho dito uh, mag king h2 Ayan. So, ito na yung aabutan uh, natin sa clip kasi uh, kinat short ko na lang kasi sobrang haba ho pag uh, uh, pinanood natin yung buong chess game. Eh, no? So, rook h6 check. And then, para bishop h3, bishop takes h3. Ayan. So, take note, hindi pwede mag rook takes h3 kasi para king g2, tatakas na ho yung king. No? Uh, mawawalan na ho yung atake ma i stop ball. So, bishop takes h3. Ngayon, threatening mate ulit with the uh, bishop f1. So, pag bishop f1 yan, mati na ho kagad. Yung king wala nang uh, tatakasan. So, dito, nag rook f4. And then, pag rook takes f4, g takes f4. Dito po yung good move ni Sherlock Holmes with bishop f2. Ayan. So, kasi kung mapapansin natin, wala naman ma-discovered attack itong bishop wala pa siyang tatamaan. So, pagka bishop f2, makikita natin unstoppable yung bishop f1 checkmate. Kasi itong king na ano na, ano, naba, nabarahan na dyan, uh, hindi na makakaalis. Tapos, yung pawn sa f4, naarangan pa yung uh, pag-atake sana ng queen dun sa rook. So, dito po, nag-queen b3 pa, umaasa pa ng konti, and then pagka king h8, Queen takes b7, and then bishop f1, checkmate. Ayan ho yung uh, nangyari dyan. Tapos pagkatapos mati ni Sherlock Holmes, nagsuntukan na ho sila. So, yan pong movie na yan. Talaga napaganda. Kung hindi nyo pa po napapanood, panoorin nyo na ho. So, hopefully, itong uh, simple analysis natin, na-enjoy nyo po, at uh, na-enjoy nyo rin yung video clip. At uh, kung na-enjoy nyo, please, like this video and subscribe to our channel. So as per usual, see you again next video. Bye. -bye.